class system of the day. As long as he made sure that their food was decent, they had enough firewood, and he did work day and night at that. He was always struggling with the commissary to get better food for these men and writing to the Continental Congress to, to try to do something about the abominable system of feeding the army which they had set up. Nevertheless, Washington faced the first Continental Army mutiny at the end of that snowy Morristown winter. On the evening of May 25th, several armed regiments paraded about the camp with their arms, refusing to disperse. They were angry about their lack of food and poor conditions, yet unsure about their methods. The mutiny soon lost its explosive quality, but the frustration of the troops remained. The worm of hunger gnawing so keen kept us from being entirely quiet. We therefore still kept upon the parade in groups, venting our spleen at our country and government, then at our officers, then at ourselves for our imbecility in staying there and starving for an ungrateful people who did not care what became of us. Joseph Plum Martin. The mutiny ended quietly and without violence. But Washington was deeply affected by the dissatisfaction of his men and harbored pessimistic thoughts about winning the war without greater support from an indifferent citizenry and an ineffectual Congress. Certain I am that unless Congress speaks in a more decisive tone, unless they are vested with powers by the several states competent to the great purposes of war, or assume them as a matter of right, and they and the states respectively act with more energy than they hitherto have done, that our cause is lost. George Washington after the Morristown Mutiny. The war had grown long. By the end of the Morristown winter, nearly 5,000 Americans had lost their lives in the five years of struggle to combat injuries. But several times as many had died of starvation and disease. And still, no end to the fighting was in sight. Shop Secrets Video. That's 1-800-572-8778. Call now. This is for guys who love their tools. Men at Work Week on Modern Marvel. All the